All right, folks, Hangover 3. What, you want a more pomp and circumstance than that? Hangover 3, watch. My God, it's got the voice of an angel. It's breathtaking. Someone needs to burn this place to the ground. Ooh, I like that. Lisa, can you remember me? I'm the one that picked the object. Lisa, can you remember me? I'm the one that picked the object. been on a lot of adventures together, but it seems like you haven't learned anything. Anything. I'll be in the limo. All right, so that was the trailer for Hangover 3. Wolfpack! That's for all my friends in the theater who are going to be living in your glory days that one time you went to that one cool party and you and your friends thought you were like these guys where you're just all awesome and great and you're going to be drunk in the theater. Thanks, I really appreciate that ahead of time. Uh, this is the third... Am I wrong? I'm not going there. Am I wrong? I'm not going there. Okay. This is the third installment with director Todd Phillips returning and the three characters, Zach Galifianakis, Ed Helms, and Bradley Cooper. Um, the only difference I think in this movie is same characters, but different scenario. And uh, Mr. Lee. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Lee. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, different scenario for the third one uh, versus the second one was trying to strike the, uh, what's the word, phrase? Strike the iron while it's hot? Lightning strike twice. Like lightning strike twice, that's the phrase I'm thinking of, yeah. For the second one with the memory loss. This one, I don't think they're going to have memory loss, so I think it's actually going to be better. No, this one, it seems that the entire premise is based upon taking the two most ridiculous characters that they had in the first one, the ridiculously racist character and the ridiculously idiotic character. As you can see in the poster right here. And just, yeah, literally, they're squaring off in the poster, and they're just like, it's just to the point, you know, he's jumping off buildings like he's Batman, and like, you know, just, <laughs> you got Zach Galifianakis' character screaming like he's, a, you know, this in an abattoir or something like that. It's just, it's just so stupid. Like, it, and you know what? It's gonna probably do the biggest bank of any movie this summer. It, quick aside, come here. Look at me, folks. What is wrong with our culture when this is what we aspire to? And not only that, we throw money at it. If Gatsby did a third of this, I'd be very impressed. This is going to probably break records for many of the movie theaters around here. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Am I red? Red, <laughs> red, if it's not clear enough. Red, bury it, I don't ever want to see it. <laughs> my, mat, my, uh, my rating is matinee, because I'm one of those people that's gonna go see it. So I shouldn't have addressed it to them. I asked now, you it what to is me. wrong with you? <laughs> I, like I like movies that are just entertaining. This is not entertainment. It's, to me, it's entertainment. Stupid fun. That's why I like stupid fun sometimes. Sometimes I want something Do you, Are you the guy who watches the AFV and just waits for that <laughs> kick in the crotch montage where they just do back to back to back? I love this. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to do this? Yeah. Wait, what are we doing? Hey, Phil, kick yourself out a little bit. Alan. You get it? We can't be friends anymore. When we get together, bad things happen and people get hurt. Yeah, that's the point. It's funny. It all ends tonight. Shut up! Oh. I believe I can fly. I love cocaine! <laughs> Cassie, I'm hungry. Mom, I'm with a customer. <laughs> She's rude. You hear that, Mom? Likes you. Yeah, keep your mouth shut. Oh. <laughs> Red. That's, that's why we're here, Red. Real Talk Nola, to give you that differing opinion. <laughs> Red, Matinee, yep. be right back. <laughs>